Today, this morning, we did car fire drills out in our training grounds. My name is Lieutenant William Webb, and I've been with Camino Island Fire and Rescue for a little over 27 years. I got started with most of my family who were firefighters at the time, volunteering in the city of Stanwood nearby. So I envision drones or quadcopters, whatever you like to call it, being a benefit to the fire department for multiple different scenarios. One, being able to orbit or hover over a structure fire so that incident command can see where the hot spots are and where trouble spots are so that we can keep our firefighters out of danger. And for like our marine drill that we did today, um, being able to send a drone out really quickly without all the time it takes to hitch up the boat, load it, getting in the water, and putting our people at risk out doing that, sending the drone out, finding out really what's going on, whether it's just a boat adrift or if there's really an emergency that we have to handle. The drone itself, getting it out of the box, putting the battery in and getting it in the air is only going to be a few minutes. Whereas if we have to get a helicopter, which is usually going to be from the Navy over on Whidbey Island or Coast Guard out of Seattle, um, we're looking at half hour to an hour at times. In this water, it's going to be about 45, 46 degrees Fahrenheit year round. And with the air temperature down around 35 today, they're going to get cold really quick. After about 10, 15 minutes at the most, they're just going to start getting very lethargic and not be able to keep themselves afloat anymore. So having the drone to get out there and find out really what's going on very quickly and send that information back to our rescue crew, they know how fast they need to expedite without putting anybody in danger. My name is Lieutenant Webb with Camano Fire. I was born to protect. <laughs>